Hello everyone. It is time for Take Home Tuesday. And today, you know, we're gonna bring a little snack, aren't we? Yeah, so what are we doing today, Hattie? We're making a chunky monkey smoothie. A chunky monkey. Now, we of course have different ideas of different things you could add and make to it, but we like to bring all things creative here to um, Take Home Tuesday time. And um, you'll notice my helper is back today. This is her last week of break this for this time around. Yeah. Yep, and so then she'll be headed back to school, but she's uh, becoming a loyal employee at Hen and Chick Studio, aren't you? Yep, so she's gonna help me today. Now we are coming from, to you from um, upstairs in our uh, retreat center, and we do have some retreaters up here sewing away, so if you hear them in the background, they are the studio audience for us today. Um, so you might hear their sewing machine zipping right along, but we love that. We love that we get to share with people. Yep, so Hattie is ready to go here. In our Chunky Monkeys, I'm gonna give you uh, kind of the recipe but then we kind of, you know how all things are when sometimes you cook, you just kind of make it so it works for you. So in your Chunky Monkey, we're gonna use almond milk. Of course, you could use regular milk, cashew milk, um, whatever sort of milk that you want to do. We're gonna use almond milk, we're using a yogurt, a vanilla yogurt, you could use Greek yogurt or plain yogurt. We, of course, have our favorites and our favorite brands. What are your favorites that you might suggest too? Um, but we want equal parts of the almond milk which is what we're using and the oh, just one second and the yogurt about equal parts depending if you want it more thick or less thick you can add more milk less milk etc so bailey might have to step up here a little bit so you can get our shot in action right here because we have our studio um camera gal bailey with us today okay so equal parts of almond milk one serving is probably going to be about a, a cup of almond milk Again, you can make it however you want to, a little less, a little bit more. About a table, uh, one to two tablespoons of peanut butter, a scoop of protein powder. You could add a little bit of honey in there for your um, flavor, whatever, if you want a little sweeter. One banana, preferably frozen. And hint from Heidi, make sure that you take the peel off the banana before you freeze them. Um, and what was the other thing that we, what did I forget to say? Is that all we needed? It was like four things. Milk yogurt, peanut butter, protein powder, can add honey ice. if you want, and ice if you want. Now, some people like it with ice, some people don't like it with ice. Again, we're making it with ice today and we're doubling everything because we have double the fun today, right? So we want to be able to share it with people. So we're gonna start today and we're gonna add about a, uh, two cups of almond milk in there. Can you get up there, Hattie? Whoop. Make sure you make the target, right? Yep, as with all things, you know, it's no fun in the kitchen if you don't make a mess. Yep, okay, so we're gonna put that to the side. Let's put our ice in first. Put some more, we're gonna dump the ice. We just got a, about a cup of ice in there. Something like that, did we do it all? There we go. We're kind of making it up here as we go along to see what it was like. We're gonna add our yogurt, which about equal parts um, milk to yogurt. Um, leaves to a little bit more milk today because we are using ice. And so uh, the ice will help smooth it up. But we're putting about half of our container in there because we're making a larger amount for people. So you mostly do one and a half cup of it. Um, now one teaspoon. Tablespoon. tablespoon of peanut butter and I will say with us since we're doubling it we're gonna put at least two in but if you like it more peanut buttery how do not you grab another um, spoon off the table there if you like more peanut butter absolutely you can add more um, one other thing I would throw out there too is if you that's fine if you don't like um, chocolate you can make this without yeah, a tablespoon there's one I feel like we're kind of cooking like a grandma might cook. Just make it up as you go. I'm going to add some more because I like the peanut butter. And you know, we've been busy bees around here, so we need the extra protein that we're getting from And our... you do about one tablespoon of honey if you want to put honey in there. Mm -hmm. Make it a little bit sweeter, right? Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and peel one of our bananas to throw in there? How many bananas? Well, we're going to double it, so we would need how many bananas? Two, Two bananas. One banana, two banana, three banana, four. 
I think there's something that goes with that, but I don't know what it is. Um, so, if they know, they could tell us. Oh, they could tell us if they know you're right. We have some chocolate protein powder. Again, a little bit of protein with the peanut butter, but make it, <laughs> that's okay, make it a little bit more healthy. We're going to put in a couple scoops. Yep, go ahead and stick it in there. We're going to put in a couple scoops of chocolate protein powder. Again, you could use um, vanilla protein powder if you didn't want the chocolate. Oop, inhaled some of that. So we're getting this going. I don't know if you guys think this is looking good, but if you, Heidi and I absolutely love this. The Natural Grind is one of our friends that has um, a coffee shop type business up in Grundy Center north of us. And we, if we go there ever, we like to get the Chunky Monkey, which is the smoothie, but then there's also the Hunky Monkey, which is the bowl. Okay hunky monkey and then you put all sorts of flavor and like toppings on it and eat it that way so what toppings do you think you could add to this if you were um, put in a bowl honey what did we say we forgot to bring remember the mini oh yeah mini chocolate chips mini chocolate <laughs> chips would be good we've had it with blueberries fresh blueberries sprinkled on the top strawberries coconut nuts granola all those things so yeah, let's go ahead nice. Well, we can add to, if you wanted to have it a bit more chocolatey, you could add some unsweetened um, baking cocoa as well. Um, do you want to add a little bit of it? Should we make a little chocolate? Okay, well, get another little spoon because we are using just what we have today. That worked, Hattie. Just a nice spoon. Yep. And we're just going to put a little bit of this in. And you know what? You could also use in place of, um, oops, see, look, I missed it. That's okay. In place of honey, you could also use a little bit of syrup. And I happen to see, oh yeah, we have some syrup here, so why not? Did you know that grandpa, here side note, grandpa loved to mix peanut butter and syrup together in a bowl so it was nice and runny and smooth and dip pieces of bread in it. And that's what he'd eat for a snack. Yeah, and then if you smash the bread up, if it's fresh bread and you smash it really tight, and just make it like a little french fry and dip it in the peanut butter and syrup mm, delicious so we're just going to add a little bit of peanut butter peanut butter syrup into it okay let's see what our creation is going to be first you got to get this on there and this is going to be a little loud so everybody plug your ears if you're listening online but we're going to get this going now are we ready all right well maybe we'll get it going <laughs> So it's that simple. Now it's a great morning snack. It's a great. 30 seconds. Oh yeah, 30 seconds or so. Let's see. Now I would actually probably want, want this a little thicker. More. So, I mean, this would be good to drink, but yeah. I personally like it when it's a little bit thicker. So I would we, probably come back could, and um, take one off. Oh wait, we only added one bit. banana, didn't we? Two. Or did you do two? two. Okay, you did two. But so you could, could come we back. We could in. take another one. And um, cut it and put on the top. Oh, for a topic. I'm going to add some more yogurt because why not, right? So you can see this is making a generous amount using the two cups of almond milk um, is generous. So one cup of almond milk would be pretty big with it. Um, again, you adjust it to whatever you want to. A cup of almond milk, half a cup of yogurt, flip them around if you want it to be thicker or less thick. Yep. Let's press power first. There you go. Yep, so you can make it the consistency you want. Um, Heidi, I believe she might be commenting right now. When she makes it, she uses about one cup of the almond milk and half a cup of Chobani vanilla yogurt. Again, she, and, but she doesn't add the ice to it. So again, you can make it however you want. But let's look. We're going to use fancy dancy cups today so they can fancy see. Dancy. And we taught you already talked about the different toppings that you could add to it. Yeah. Come back in and put Chocolate some banana. Chocolate chips, banana. Yeah, so there's one. I know it looks really fancy, doesn't it? Um, another idea I've seen that you could do is actually add some coffee if you wanted or like an espresso to it to make it a little bit more. And you can pick any more. You don't have to pick almond milk. Yeah, it could be anything. Let's have a drink. Tasty. I could taste the 
banana. You can taste the banana. Yeah. So if, again, if you don't like that much banana flavor, you could not put as much banana in and that sort of stuff. So anyway, our take home Tuesday today, a healthy uh, snack alternative for us. We're about ready to have a snack already to keep us energized for the rest of the day, right? Oh, are we gonna chop that up? Hold on, we'll get a cutting board and chop it up. But let's tell everybody, Thanks for watching. Thanks yeah, for and watching. share your favorite recipe if you have one that you like for a healthy pick-me-up snack. So until next time, yeah, be creative, have fun.